Hey everybody! Um, I'm dressed this week. I haven't got my pyjamas on. So, welcome to my Strictly recap. Loved the show um, last night. I'm doing this on the Sunday morning because I was out last night, which is just so rude. Um, really, really great dances and everyone's really starting to improve and up their game, which makes me excited because... Um, you know, it's still quite a way to go until we get down to the final, but it's really great to see so many people putting so much effort in. Um, right at the top, we have uh, Pixie and Trent, which is really well deserved. She did really well, um, and yeah, I thought she might damage something with her shaking and shimmying, but um, but it was a good dance. It was great. I mean, I could I could never ever do anything like that. Um, Caroline's Paso was just amazing. I knew she'd be good at that. She really gets into a, a character, which is good. And, yeah, just great, great cape work. I love Passos. Mm, really good. Um, they're really great dancers to watch. And I also love Viennese waltzes. I think they're probably my favourite because they're so romantic and so lovely. Um, and, actually, we saw two fairly good examples last night. Um from Simon and Christina and it was a bit clunky and stuff in places but he can really really spin and um, also never thought I'd say this Sinatra and Brendan um, they really impressed me with their Viennese waltz so um, I hope that neither of them will be in the dance off I think it will probably be Alison because her tango wasn't great at all and bless her she's lovely I mean Craig was really he wasn't harsh, he was just Craig. Um, and she was really quick to sort of say, oh, you know, no, I'll take it on board because I, I like, you know, like taking his advice. And, and he sort of said, I don't know if anyone saw it, but he said, oh, you're gorgeous, darling. And she really is. She's such a lovely person. But I, unfortunately, I, I think she's third from bottom and I think that that will land her in trouble. Um, but God, fingers crossed it doesn't because Judy was just dreadful again and you know actually the Charleston suited both of uh, both Judy and Scott who were both at the bottom of the leaderboard and for them it was their best dances but in comparison to everyone else no not good um and i i don't if i had the opportunity to dance to Charleston i would throw myself into it and want to perfect it and i would be practicing it for hours on end but nobody you know they they just well I know that they practice they just haven't got a natural gift at all and they just don't seem to improve ever 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 so I really want to see one of them go this week and then one of them go the next week because this it's just a joke and as the competition moves on you get more and more frustrated by it because you start to see really good dancers go home like you know if Alison ends up going home this week we will have lost somebody who's really good and brings a lot of fun and everything else to the show. Um, and she doesn't deserve... She doesn't deserve to go home and for one of them to stay. Anyway, that's my little rant. Um, I was really impressed by the men. Uh, um, Tom and Steve, they both did really well in their dances. And again, they're improving. I mean... In terms of how far people are coming, Steve and Tom are definitely the ones who are improving the most. Oh, and Mark, um, but I'll get on to Mark in a minute. But but Steve, in his waltz, it was just lovely, really lovely, and really nice to see a different side of him um, and not be reminded again that he's a wildlife presenter, so I enjoyed that. Um, and Tom and Yvette love their pairing. They, they just seem like such fantastic friends, and it's just really lovely. Um, but Mark and Karen, bless his heart, I'm going to adopt him and keep him as a pet. Um, he just, he's adorable. He's adorable. I just, I want to steal him away. Um, he put so much effort in and he did so well and he thoroughly deserved all the great comments that he got. And him and Karen just seemed so pleased. Um, and it was great to see. So long may that continue because... He's he's actually a really good dancer and he tries so hard. He he's just a trier and a pleaser, bless him. Um, so that was that, and I th I think that pretty much covers it all. Um, but 
as I said at the start of my written piece, big shout out to Claudia and Tess because they're just fantastic. Um, Tess is getting really good at those little links that she does in between. And I know that they're, you know, um, what's it called, on auto queue, but she's still really great at them and she has really good interaction with the judges. You can tell that they really like her and um, I think that Claudia puts her at ease as well, which is fantastic because Claudia is nuts, but in the best possible way. So I'm really happy with this year's choice of presenters and I really hope that they stay for many more series to come. Anyway, um, join me later tonight, how exciting, for um, the dance-off and we'll see who goes home. Bye!